Nat 20! Welcome back to A Deal with Demons. In our previous episode, our adventurers encountered a ghost town. Well, except for everyone except for Farron, because Farron <laughs> couldn't see a ghost town. So everyone saw it kind of differently, depending on what they rolled. So, for example, um, Lazarus, Elendral, and Druman all just saw a ghost town, like just a rundown town with nothing going on. What Duncan or uh, Ryan saw was a town from the past, but with just ghosts in it. What Blaze saw was the town as it was in the ba- in the past, but bustling with people who we could interact with. Uh, what Farron saw was he just saw like a field. He didn't see any town of any kind or anything at all. So they investigated the, a couple of them investigated the town a little bit, learned more about the blacksmith there and the local stuff there. And now everyone, I think everyone is just leaving town now. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're yeah. heading on to the okay. marshes. Yeah, we're Kay. all leaving. Okay, so because this isn't a well-traveled path anymore, uh, as as you make your way, you don't see any other people for the longest time. Okay. Uh-huh. Then you get to what where you would assume would be just north, a little bit north of Ait. And... Uh, you see two people up ahead. As you get close to them, you see it's a half-elf woman and a uh, male tiefling. Hmm. And they're both on a horse. The same horse? No. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. It's like they couldn't afford a second horse. Good one. <laughs> yeah. And as they approach you, they ask if you like stop. For mm, we don't. <laughs> Uh, I mean, who's in control? Aelrandella and Farron, so... Oh, yeah. Chances are. <laughs> Farron wouldn't stop. Yeah, Farron wouldn't stop. <laughs> I'm Farron actually has his rod held out. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. As he's moving fast. <laughs> Would you stop? Uh, I'm following Farron, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, I, okay. I just wave as we pass by. Okay. I will stop, but I, I... As I stop, I casually put my left hand on my long... On my sheath longsword, but okay. just, like, casually... This casual dude. Sending a and message. I say, uh, <laughs> how are the roads? <laughs> uh, the tiefling says, they're pretty good so far. There's like no snow or anything. And did you guys just head? Were you guys just in the ghost town? Oh, yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, okay. uh, there's something there. Nope. Yeah, there's lots of ghosts there. Nope, no, no ghosts. ghosts. It is completely there. Did you see there? a single like, ghost? Like evil ghosts, or were they like just like. There is no ghosts. No, no actually, ghosts. Actually, ghosts? actually, there was a hulking you know beast you're, with you're in the other pitch cars. black skin, you're in the o- <laughs> wings, and sharp talons. You're in the other car. Yeah, you're in the other carts. We we all saw different things. That's odd. Like they didn't see anything. He didn't. It see was anything. a ghost town. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is no one. <laughs> it was an empty town. I saw. <laughs> Why are we stopping? I saw. I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna. We should leave. I saw buildings, <laughs> but not in disrepair, and there were spirits, just ghosts, like the people who'd been living there. They didn't try to harm us. They just went about their daily business. Oh no, we're getting farther away. And away. our companion up there said he saw them as if they were real living people in the flesh. Really, yeah. and with that, the elf woman like. Her eyes go wide, and she seems, like, excited, kind of. And the elf, uh, or half-elf, and the tiefling both look each o- look at each other, like, yeah. like, excited about what they're doing. If you, if you have the time, go around the town. It's not worth it. Why? What's... We're actually heading to the town. Why? Uh, my, uh, wife here is... And, well, her ancestors used to live in the town long, long ago, like before the war. There's no one there. Every building is destroyed. There's n- <laughs> When I say it's a ghost town, I mean there's no one there. I thought he said that he saw a lot of ghosts. Yeah, so. but... And didn't, didn't, did someone say there were people there? Yeah, our companion. Up there. We all saw different things, but I think they saw the, the town in, in its previous state. 
Okay, well, that, that's cool. No, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> not cool at all. It looked like ghosts, but there was a heavy film of magic over everything, so I'm not sure if it was actually real or an illusion. Bye! If you're going there, I'd best be careful. There is there any dangers or anything like that? We didn't have any troubles. Did that... that yeah, that, that Goliath told us about oh. the the big, yeah. scary yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, Although, uh, we passed some other people who've been through, and there was this uh, Goliath who said he saw this huge, black, scary monster thing. Okay. That destroyed uh, the town. And really? killed everyone. Yeah, and he was he was pretty shaken up. He wasn't hurt or anything. He, physically, he was fine, but he okay. looked like he was in a bit of shock, traumatized okay. a little bit. So, do be warned. Proceed with caution. Okay. Thanks for telling us. We're excited <coughs> to see what we actually see there. No so, problem. Thanks, and they'll uh, head off. Oh, and I'll see you on a seat more. Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs> and trust no one. Not even your significant other. <laughs> You don't, you don't have to listen to that. <laughs> the cake is a lie. You <laughs> <laughs> don't stop. I'm begging you. I trust no one. Thanks. And <laughs> Not even the, yourself. The, the, the head off. Not even Harvey Dent. <laughs> Dent. From Batman. Yeah. Where's Old Rachel? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, sorry. I've never seen <laughs> the Black Knight or the Dark Knight. Sorry. <laughs> the Dark Knight Obviously, trilogy? Yeah. Yeah. The three, I've never seen any of the Batman. Very, very yeah. epic. My way was yeah. yeah. I catch up to those guys in the horse. And I've never seen Lord of the Rings either. You saw the first one. I, uh, that's yeah. right. That's right. Clayton talked the whole time, though. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways. I've seen it like 12 times. <laughs> he, says, he hasn't seen I'd it. I'd like to comment on stuff I find amusing. Anyways. Let him watch the movie first. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so you guys keep traveling and uh, you're about, you'd be about uh, days away from the mar- marshes right now. It is getting dark, so you will most likely have to stay the night or like camp out for the night. No. But if you want, I can just say you did that and go to the next day. And ask there's something you guys all want to talk about. Yo, let's go to the next day. <laughs> uh, no, I got you something important to do. Yeah, grab the flower. Oh, we're so close. Yeah, let's just skip ahead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you skip ahead, make nice. your way again, Give and yeah, you guys all have all had a long rest. Uh, the snow is coming down lightly as you make your way towards the the marshes. And again, there are still mountains on both sides of you. Every once in a while, you go through another march or swamp or something like that. Some of them are frozen, some not so much, some completely snow-free or ice-free. And eventually, you make your way. You make your way to just the top of a small hill, and you're able to see a marsh. And in the very center of the marsh, you see a mount that's kind of sticking above where the water level is and you see a bunch of what do you assume are the frivolous frantellas growing on this uh, mound. You also see a cabin in the distance that's a a little bit run down but not too bad. We were warned that hags protected this marsh so I suggest we we don't approach the cabin. We just grab the flower and Head on out. Best not start trouble where we don't need to. Well, if they're protecting the marsh, they probably wouldn't want us to even enter. Roll a perception check, please. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. It's a trap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. 23. Not one. Not one. <laughs> Yo, <Whoa>. Samesy, bro. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> I, I rolled it and then like on the cloth and it got stuck like upward just yeah. like between it and I was like alright and I rolled it on the table and, yeah so the two of you don't even see the flowers in the marsh oh itself god, oh my god or the cabin way back in the distance okay I'm gonna cast locate object to locate some okay. flowers okay <laughs> I'm just gonna stare into nothing yes uh Lazarus you see the marsh and the cabin that's really all you see okay. and then Blaze you actually see 
uh, two hags uh, at one edge of the marsh. Kind of ahead of you and to the left a little bit. Not about halfway between where you are at and the cabin. I think the best course of action is that myself and Lazarus stealth down, grab a couple flowers each, and stealth away without attracting any attention. Baron says, I can become invisible. Please don't. Like, they won't even see me. I've got these bake pipes. They won't see me or my bake pipes anywhere. They'll hear you, Baron. We don't want to attract <laughs> any kind of attention. We need to be very quiet as well as swift. So, I don't know where the flowers are, right? Uh, no, no you, you saw the flowers. I did yeah. see the flowers? Because they're uh, arguing, I cast pass without trace on everybody, and I start slinking off. Okay, but <laughs> wait, before he goes, I, like... Like, let, let me point out the hags! I'll point out... There's hags! Are. Yeah, there are two hags! I just saw them, they're over there and there. And then there's that cabin over there. Listen, just, you guys stay here. Lazarus and I will stealth down. We'll grab it, and then we'll come back. You do think you need quite a few of the flowers, not just one. I know, we'll yeah. grab, like, a fuck on you, Okay, yeah. <laughs> um... Just, just stay here and don't attract attention. And then I'll also slink down. Um, uh, you cast path of trace. Mm-hmm. Dope. I'm, I'm gonna stay, I guess, on the horse. Um, but I'm. Would it be the stealth? Still, I don't know if that works like that. But you'd be stealth. The cart and horse wouldn't be, which is kind of weird. Well, no, they would see the... Like, hanging off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> hanging off the side. I'm part of it. Um, just... Because we're, like, the, just, kind of, like, a top of, yeah. like, a hill. Yeah, like, you would have probably parked the um, horses and cart just before the top of the hill, just so it would be on uh, okay. site. Okay, well, I'm just going to, like, dismount, I guess, the horse and just... I'll stay there, and I'm going to kind of have my longsword... I'm going to have my hand on my longsword, just... uh in case trouble ensues. Okay. Brian? Uh, I mean, I didn't see shit, so I'm just gonna try and locate the flowers with a locate object. He pointed out where the, where the, where the heads yeah, were. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and I the flowers. All out yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll just stay put, because I'm not stealthy. Uh, I am kind of, but I'm just gonna leave it to them. And worst comes to worst, we just ditch them. Honestly, this was all a waste of time. Okay, uh, can Blaze and Lazarus roll stealth checks? Do I could have used that scroll inside the town. I I was what somewhat scroll? prepared for that. Yeah, the anti anti magic scroll. Oh, uh, so you... but that d- probably wasn't an anti magic sphere or anything. So it's plus ten. You said plus or. You got okay. So twenty-eight plus uh, plus four is thirty-two. Wow, I rolled a thirty-two. Wow, okay. yeah, very cool. I got a thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? <clears throat> so it's actually impossible for the hags to actually see you. Wow. Because they can't roll that high at perception checks or anything like that. Stupid. So hags. I just want to slink down to the nearest patch of flowers and just start shh, pluck, 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 yeah. pluck, 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 and shoving them all in my bag of holding, like as many as I can. How many okay. can I get? Uh, you're. I would say you're able to fill it up, but it's a bag of holding, so you can't really fill that up with I'm just just take flowers. About 20, 25. But yeah, you're able to get plenty. What you assume would be more than enough. Yeah, I'll take a big handful and. Since I'm curious, I'm also going to try and nibble on one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, while he's doing that, I since I rolled so good, I'm pretty confident now. I'm yeah. going to uh, make my way a little closer to the hut. Oh my god. That's why I peer through the window uh, real quick. Okay. Don't fly close to, too close to the sun, dude. All right. Okay, you're right. No, fuck the hut. <laughs> 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 fuck the hut. You're nibbling on one? Okay. Uh, do I see him through this? You do. Yeah. Don't do that. Uh, let's see. Do, I, do we know these flowers, do we? They wake up sleeping wizards. Uh, you could roll a history check. Or a na- nature check. Well, it doesn't Not matter. One. <laughs> one. Blue flower, blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. Hey, that looks pretty good. <laughs> 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 tell, tell me how it is with your dad. I'll, I'll, like, pick off a petal and chew on it and 
Then I'll turn to offer him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't fuck with the things I don't understand. <laughs> he loves me, he loves me not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as you take a nibble of it, you it kind of gives you a sense of energy, like being more awake. Is this just okay. coffee and flower form? Yeah. <laughs> and you, you can make a certain kind of tea out of it. Oh my God, awesome. So I'm going to finish eating the flower that yeah. I was nibbling on. And then I'll pick up a bunch more because I want to make like tea. Maybe it's slurp okay. juice. Just put them in a bag of holding. I'll put them in a bag of holding. We can just make a collection. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're easily able to grab enough that you think for tea plus extras, and you're able to make your way back to the uh, cart. Just make a stealth check as you go. Twenty-four. <laughs> What'd you roll, clean? Oh, just a that one there, Tony. <laughs> that's two in a row, isn't it? Yes, yep. sir. Dude. Wow, that's another one in four hundred. I guess we got to change the name of the show. You know, maybe anti name drop. Ooh. Opposite name drop? That's an anti joke. Your south was 24? Yes. Okay, so you are unseen. You see the hags looking in your direction, and you think that one of them looks exactly at you, and then she just looks at somewhere else. That is a good, good old, like, pyramid pose. <laughs> <laughs> what was your south altogether? Uh, plus 10, 11, plus 4, 15. 15? So one of the hags doesn't see you. Ooh. The other definitely does. And <clears throat> do you have any of the flowers in your hand? No. So you roll to see if there were any, if there was anything amiss. Got an at twenty, oh, and I saw that a lot of the flowers were gone from the mound. Ooh. So she notifies. I'm gonna drink my greater hand. invisibility potion. <sighs> okay. Right Real you. quick, I'm gonna drink that shit. Okay. Pound it back like some slurp juice. And they're gonna charge towards where you were. I fucking buck off in the opposite direction. <laughs> uh, they still can see the splashing of the some of the water you're walking through. Fuck you, Gage! <laughs> no! I no? have my boots of levitation! Oh! I used oh, my boots of levitation and I flown away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky bitch. They don't see shit! <laughs> so we just see the hags book it into the swamp. Yeah, they they did not find you. They go to the exact place where they saw you at first, and see you're not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. And they don't see you either. Okay, I'm gonna do a long, like, a roundabout way back to the cart. Are they okay. in between me and the uh, uh, cabin? Uh, no. So it was kind of like a triangle, or yeah, between you and the cabin. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, time to boogie. I'll kind of try and circle the long way around. So, like, if the cabin's here, they're here, I'm here. I'll kind of, like, circle around like this. I'm on the other side of the cabin. So you're going to the cabin? Yes. Okay. Why? Um, Why check it out? <laughs> can I just roll one more stealth check? Uh, can I, like, stealth at the top to, like, look o- like to try to peek over the yeah. mountain every once in a while to see what's going on? Yeah, just roll uh, perception. 34. Yeah, you're unseen. Oh, okay. perception. A natural uh, 20! You see everything that's happening. You yeah. see him stealthing towards the cabin. You see you Don't had see just me. seen when he Turn it. turned invisible. And then you saw his splashing of his feet stop. This is spicy. And you saw the hags move towards the exact place that he was at. Wow, damn. And you're actually able to recognize what kind of hags these are. Can you pass me the Ebron book? Oh, I or should just use it? a smoke pellet. Fuck. Uh, is it one of those? Nope. Nope. I should use a smoke you pellet. Bring it down with you? I don't think I did. What okay. what book? The Eberron book. It'd be upstairs. Uh oh wait. Uh you see that it is a uh a dusk hag. Mm. Which I don't actually have a picture of right now because it's in the book, but And then you see one other uh, hag that's kind of more plain. A it dawn is a hag? Mm-hmm. Does it look like, <laughs> like a female <laughs> ogre, green skin, no. brown hair, t- tiara maybe? Uh, it does just, the other one does just look like a green hag. Uh, nice. I do like that joke though. Sexy hags. 
I got it. Thanks. So you're going towards the uh, cabin? Yeah, I'm trying to take the long way around so I come up come up towards it yeah. uh, on the opposite side of the cabin. Okay, yeah, you're easily able to get there without being noticed. Okay. And you're now outside of the cabin. You see a, there's a, a two windows on the back, three windows on each side, and then one in the front. And the door's in the front, and there's one door in the back as well. And you see that there are frivolous frantels in the garden behind this cabin as well. Okay. As well as a few other herbs and plants. I'll peek through the window and see if anyone's inside. Roll a perception check. 16. 16? Uh, you see uh, two other hags in this cabin. Oh, okay. thanks. So I'll show you what the hag looks like. What did I miss? Uh, not much. Lazarus is just looking into the cabin. Oh that is the first hag, the one that spotted you. Curled horns, creepy eyes, bronze skin, hulking shoulders, claws. Cool. Dope. Glad thing I glad I drank my potion now. <laughs> I'm just try and stealthily take as many flowers from the garden as I can, and then I'll dip. Just the frivolous or other stuff too? Uh I'll take as many frivolous as I can and then I'll take a couple handfuls of whatever else is there. Okay. Uh, just roll one more stealth check with advantage since you're outside and they're not paying too much really any attention. 32. Yeah, you're fine. You're able to get a bunch of the frivolous frontels as well as a few other herbs and flowers and plants and stuff. If you want, you could do a nature check or a medicine check to see what they are. 17. Uh, you know that a lot of, some of these flowers are used for, some of these flowers and plants and herbs are used for, uh, health and healing. You also know that a few of these are made for, uh, some other kind of necromatic processes. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna nibble on them. <laughs> uh, I'll just take my herbs and I'll head back towards the group. Okay. This looks like a good spot to find some ingredients. <laughs> uh, so you all are you able to that. get back together without the hags noticing you. Thank you, Donald Duck. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to make sure to tap Ryan on the shoulder and be like, Ryan, don't panic, it's, it's Blaze, I went invisible to avoid trouble. Do I panic? Do I freak out? Do you? I don't know, it's up to you, dude. I jump a bit, but I guess since I hear you talking, I'm fine. I don't know how long this potion will last. <laughs> but it was kind of like a panic chug. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally saw that happen. Okay. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Yeah, I know. I probably should just use like a smoke belt, you think, right? What? <laughs> Where's Lazarus? So about a uh, couple minutes later, you do sneak up on them. But I got plenty of uh, flowers. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Oh my god, <laughs> you fucking will. <laughs> I ignore him. I brought goodies. I don't dump out a bunch of... I, actually, I won't dump them out. I'll just show them the herbs. Okay. <laughs> Do I recognize any of them? You could draw a medicine or nature check. I'm gonna look at them as well. Yeah. Okay, so medicine or nature? Yeah. Four, dude. I you rolled... think they could make a tea? 23. 23? 26. 26. Uh, the two of you recognize a couple of them as herbs or flowers that are used for healing potions. Another one you realize is, well, one that is like a black type flower is you, so, at one point, the two of you both read that there's a certain plant that some hags use for cloning. And do you realize this is one of them? What and, is it called? Uh, do you not have a name? No. Nope. Don't worry about it then. No, I just searched plant name generator. Cool. For <laughs> fun. not supposed to tell us that. <laughs> Fernicus Mimicus. Ooh, Deramisium. That's from something, isn't it? Actually, no. Oh, wow. It is called the... Um, I don't actually like any of these. Uh, <laughs> Just make up a name for later. <laughs> it's named the Hollow House Leak. 
a hollow house leak. Yeah, so okay. it's it's actually a leak, and they're <laughs> like the pedals on it are used for those processes. And but the the leaks, it, I mean the leaves are used for those purposes. It's a but, giant black onion. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, vegetable itself is only edible to very few species, such as hags, for one. Duh. Uh, as well as sometimes black dragons can eat them. It depends on where the black dragon grew up. Mm. And um, uh, what, the spacer beasts eat them too. Does it have layers? Many. Nice. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh, you also realized that a f- few of the ones that were more prominent that Zack had picked up, or that Lazarus had picked up, are for divination purposes. So see in the future, or... Yeah, see in the future. Those all look pretty good and it might look like they would make a good tea. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Here's an idea. Let's discuss that as we ride away to safety. <laughs> Sure. I'm sure they'll eventually start expanding their search range, so we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you do see them starting to like expand their search range, as you thought. <laughs> I I hop on my steed. I jump in the okay. cart, and it's up there, and go, go, go! Okay. Uh, you guys are off, and leave the place in thrust. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah! That wasn't as easy as I had hoped. We leave the dusk in the <laughs> dust. Oh, you, you expected something else? Yeah, I expected a fight to happen. That's fine with me. We, we ride with Dusk, away from Dusk, in dust. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, how dude. far is the wizard's yes. place? It'll, It'll be another down. about day's ride. <laughs> another day's ride? Yeah. We know where to go. Maybe like three quarters oh, of a day's so ride. Close. But you, uh, Tony knows exactly where to go. You're not sure exactly where. You just heard that it's to the <laughs> north of Ike. Alarndale, perhaps you should lead. Yeah. Uh, I was always leading. <laughs> <laughs> no, but- and I take a... <laughs> I ride past him in the, with the horse in the cart. Also, can you roll a insight check, please? No. Then you fail. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, 13. Uh, from where you know you are right now, you believe that the Shardana have just entered uh, Eol. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel... Um, I, <laughs> I feel. Oh, um. R.I.P. Barbos. What? Oh, what I? Why can't I think of it? What do you like when you get like the goosebumps? goosebumps. goosebumps. I feel slight like goosebumps, goosebumps, even though I don't feel my. Even though I don't oh, feel my no. skin nice. very much. Yeah. Um. And I feel, even though I don't feel. I stop the horse suddenly. Okay. Hey, why'd you stop? Or. We gotta make up time. We don't know if those eggs might be chasing us. It's Artemis. You're the one who says we have to hurry, so let's get going. I know. Artemis is chasing us? (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) Him and the... What? Stop! (laughs) No, it's him and the shark head. Artemis is in what? You saw Artemis? They've entered you. I can feel it. That's across the continent. No, there's nothing to worry about. (laughs) Fine, let's keep going. <laughs> um, how long ago was it that I sent that raven to? Oh, it was about uh three days ago now. Maybe and no, uh, three and a half or four. I know. Like, would it have reached them by now? You were hoping. You I, do you know that it would be? I did try to pick the best raven. Super close. I don't. I don't like that gauge. <laughs> <laughs> that unnerves me. Um. Do you even care what the people? I thought you just cared about Artemis. His family. Yeah, yeah his mom's dead. Uh, but you're dead and chaotic evil that. or something. Huh? You're evil now. Parent uh, evil. I'm. You're neutral. I'm kind of like neutral, oh, yeah. yeah. But still, all right, all right. the part of me that's alive okay. cares about my family. Um. There's nothing we can do for them from here. Or- well, we could just ditch this whole quest to go meet your real boy. 
And <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. So you think we can ditch this little quest we have going on here and just fucking take the cart all the way home? You said you were to save your family. Oh wait, it'll take weeks to get the over here. There's no point in turning around now. It's a fruitless endeavor. We might as well find the wizard, have him send us back south towards the shore, so we can actually fucking do something. To be honest, last time we yeah. fought Artemis, it didn't exactly go very well. You fucking died. <laughs> yeah, but I'm strong. Quite now. pathetically, uh, you died. You, you talk about all this changing history. History. Defeating Artemis will change history. You <laughs> becoming real won't change anything. It'll change a lot to me. <laughs> and you are who again? Irrelevant. <laughs> you should have stayed in the fucking or should ground. I say, e- You're not helping Ill- anyone. You're, rel- the, you're the dumbest fucking revenant I've ever met in my life. You've accomplished nothing. You've died twice, and you've done nothing. To be fair, you should feel like shit. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking pathetic. You know that? You're fucking pathetic. Could be worse. I could be pathetic and look like you. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you were also an abyssal wretch, so. Fuck you, dude. We're not going back. Your mother's gonna die, okay? Wow. Get over it. <laughs> I don't think you knew about my family. Oh. Well, the eel's gonna die and I don't care! Dad, I... Fuck this! <laughs> Do you wanna take your stupid horse and walk all the way back? Have fun! See you later! What? Take your horse and go all the way back to the if you want. See you later! Truman Why would I take my horse and, horse. Ride and walk with the horse? Why would I ride the horse? Go ahead and ride the horse, the <laughs> old! Even though knows where the wizard is. I don't care anymore, he can leave! Uh, he can't take the horse, though. It's not his horse. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely my horse it's, now. It's not. Uh, really not. That, that's my horse. <clears throat> Says the Ruman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not listening to it. Listen, Alien now! We can't <laughs> help them. We're too far away. Panicking and running back now would accomplish nothing on both ends of ours. Both our goals would just be completely abandoned. Okay? Let's go after the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're upset, but there's nothing we can do. Look, we'll just go to the Underdark and we'll get everybody back, just like we did with the people of, Ar- of Ranches. They don't kill the people. They enslave them. I don't know why you're so worried. What the hell is... What's even there that's got you so pissed? <laughs> there are no danger. There's, there's, there's got to be a few casualties. Did you see any dead bodies in Summersdale? Did you see any dead Did, bodies in Evranches? Aside from yours. He killed the king in Evranches. Okay. Are you... Have a special connection with the king or lord or baron or whatever it is of Eol? Not by any means, but... Exactly! So don't worry about it! Um... Isn't that somewhat of a lie, because your mom is high yeah, up somewhat. there? As far as they know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um... We can go see the wizard, but... He better be able to tell us to you. Or I swear to hell. I feel like we've had this conversation like eight times now. Yeah. Also, I forgot Just this, wasted. but uh, what I had to roll before the session for something. Yeah. So, it's probably Tony? Better. No. Oh, fuck. I, this would have been awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> In what context, though? <laughs> so, Everybody dies. after going to the town, you did get a curse. Okay. After you took a long rest. So, what I rolled for this was your no languages are randomly determined after lo- a long rest. Roll 1d8 per standard language known and 1d8 per exotic language known. You decide whether to exclude common from these or not. So I'm going to say you know common, but I'm going to have you... Uh, if if you need to speak another language, I'm going to have to see if, have you roll for it. Okay. Do you know any other languages? Uh... What a suck for me. <laughs> I don't think I wrote a bunch. anything drive, down. Right? Yeah, so I was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah. And then okay. Zach, uh, perpetual magical darkness surrounds you for 25 feet. Oh, that's it's transmittable by touch. 
But because you had stealth, you were able to still be, like, not seen. Okay. Um, so it's do, literally just, like, a black cloud. Around yeah. Me. So when <laughs> when that happened to me, would I have noticed anything? Like, my curse, or? Uh, you would have just felt kind of odd. Okay. that would I wouldn't know. No. Oh. But you all would see this dark cloud surrounding <laughs> Lazarus. <laughs> I, we just assume that's Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Rumen has one too, but it's not really necessary right, right now. Yeah, Rumen's not really necessary. <laughs> no, I'm making a joke. Okay, so we're still going to the wizard's place, right? Yeah, we're going to the wizard's yeah. place. Right, let's go to the wizard's place. The fucking we're going to the wizard's wave, wave place. Let's go to the fucking wizard, man. <laughs> I hate this wizard. You've never even met him. He can be really nice. No, I don't well, care. He's a sweet guy, though. So, are you leading them to the wizard? He can teleport us to Eol. That's not canon. <laughs> Maybe he can teleport us. <laughs> Maybe. Um, yeah, I guess we've gone this far for whatever reason. So, um... <laughs> Tony, how do you have a friend? <laughs> Dude, I just. Aaron doesn't care. Um, I, yeah, I guess I'll lead us to the wizard. Um, so. Yeah, so you head west on the path that you were going on toward, going east on before. And once you're somewhat close to where you actually met those, the two travelers, there's a branch that goes north, and you're able to follow that branch. And it goes through, uh, through another, uh, small valley between two very large mountains. Like probably two of the larger mountains in Eol. I mean, in Taltania. And uh, you recognize all of what you're seeing and where you're going. Sweet. I'm going to, like, as we're going, I'm going to try to make haste to, like, okay. not go, like, screaming fast, but, like, try to make distance yeah. a little bit. You still do <laughs> feel the Shardana in Eol. It makes my skin crawl. And my mind weep. <laughs> It's oh, called a brain hammer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Aaron, I think it's emotional trauma. <laughs> we leave him. He dies. We'll, we'll see him tomorrow. Uh, and eventually you come to another fork in the road. You know to take the right path. And this actually leads to the base of a mountain. And you do know that you'll have to go up the path all around the mountain to get to where you saw the cabin. Um, do we have to go by... Uh, walking, or can we take? Uh, it is a bit treacherous of a path for no horses and a cart, but do you Hal think Stern that you could it. probably take it if necessary? Halstern is epic, so I I know. So, but is gonna... it would it be safer to just walk? Yes. Perhaps we shouldn't risk the cart and the horses. No matter. <laughs> <laughs> But if the uh, the wizard um, can teleport us to you, we'll probably want our horses and carts. Remember the last time we left our carts? Some bandits tried stealing our shit. Yeah, and then we fucking murder all of them. Cool. I'm not worried about it. I'm just saying, I don't want to go through that trouble again. Why? We got some cool shit out of it, to be honest. I'll see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, all right, fine. Let's take the cards. Just let's take it slow, okay? We don't want to kill Dusk. Would you guys have allowed Fran to keep driving? No, no, okay. God, no, God, no. I don't care. I don't know why he was yeah. even there. You can pull his rod out. I don't care. I'll choke him out. Okay. <laughs> if anything, we could just leave the cart and take the horses. We could just leave Farron to babysit the carts. We can't leave the cart. It has a shitload of magic items. <laughs> yes. oh, that's right. <laughs> we, need, we need straight up need to sell those. <laughs> Think of all the money. Yeah, it'd be great if I could get some profit. I also don't want to leave Hellstern. You could, you know, do some forge cleric things and build stuff and then sell it. I could do that. Yeah. Ruman offers that if you guys want, he could just stay with one of the carts. And then Farron could stay with the other. Do we trust Ruman? Yes. How are we going to be back? We put him in the zone how, of truth. He's a very honest person. How far is the cabin? Like, how far would we have to climb up? It'll be another... It, it'd take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half walking. If you were on your horses mm-hmm. and going at decent speed, probably half an hour. Let's just take the horses. If we have three horses, we can have three people go up and then the rest stay with the carts. Alright, let's take the horses. We'll leave the carts down here. 
So we're leaving Blaze at the bottom. <laughs> I think if anyone tries to stop me, I'll kill them. <laughs> I don't take that as a threat. Well, you wouldn't. You would just wake up the next morning. <laughs> I hope when I die, finally, I don't end. <laughs> no, that's not what I want to say. Never mind. I, uh... Nice one! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up. I'm 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 going up. Okay. <laughs> so you're taking one of the horses. I'm taking I'm taking dusk. Okay. Who else is coming? Lovecraft. I'll go. I'll Lovecraft go. can you can go. I'm going. You'll go. I'm oh, maybe Farron should actually go because he was wanting to talk to the wi- ask the wizard oh, about man. stuff. Yeah. yeah. This is all Farron can just ride with me. The horses okay. and the very carts. Small, yeah. So I'll up sit there. on. With- Fine, let's take them, but we have to go slow. We can't risk the carts. We lose the carts. It's like. A thousand gold worth of shit that so we're just gonna throw away. You're taking the cart themselves too. Let's, let's yeah, take, yeah, yeah the let's horses. take it all up. Let's all go up. Let's okay. all go up. All right. We'll take it okay. slow. So how steep is it? Uh, it's a fucking mountain. Yeah. yeah. So the incline isn't too much. Like it, it wouldn't be too difficult to actually go up there. The difficult part is the is that you have the cart. Mm-hmm. So you're having two horses walk side by side with a cart behind them. So it's a bit more difficult for like. Not a lot of rooms. Not a lot of rooms, and some sharp turns could be treacherous. Is the path big enough for the whole shebang? Yeah. Just barely. So we just need to take it slow and steady. And then we'll make our way. Alright, let's go. Uh, So whoever's driving the carts, please roll uh, vehicle checks. Who has the highest? I am not going to be in the cart. I am walking. No, does anyone have proficiency with vehicles? No, probably not. I don't think Lazarus does. I think so. uh, I maybe Ruman. I can play the flute. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Mm. I actually can. <laughs> I thought you were really bad at it. <laughs> that's only because it was a hand card flute. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Ruman is not. So it's just a normal D20 roll, then? Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, you're obviously riding. Yeah, uh, no, I'm you obviously... You refuse to get off Hellstring. Yeah, I'm obviously driving Hellstring. Uh, we don't want Farron <laughs> driving, like, at all. I'll drive. That's a 10. 10? Yeah. Perfect 10. Uh, is it just straight up? Yeah. No animal handling or anything? No. Six. Six? I did say I was going slow and steady. Yeah. Yeah, so, I'm be, trying to be careful. You are having lots of difficulty with this, so every once in a while you do after you stop, just because your horse is too close to the edge, or a wheel was just hanging off the edge on the back of your carts. Mm-hmm. It's slow going, like, pro- might have been faster to walk at the pace you're going, just because you're at both the two of you are having so much trouble with this, okay. but you are able to make it up. Nice. To, uh... An oak, I think, an oak cabin. Oak wooden cabin. Yeah, and there's a. It's really well made, and you see a door st- or a doorstop or no, a doormat. So, like, is this how like literally just on the side, just like open up to like a little like giant like fieldish area? Uh, so there's a small area behind this cabin and a bit in front of the cabin where, uh. The wizard would probably run experiments of some kinds. So the path like stretches open into like a, a bigger like it, yeah. it opens up into like a like a kind of like a field. Yeah. Okay. And the path does go at one point to the next mountain as well, and then you see it go down that mountain. Okay. Cool. 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 It's the only path going north that way. But now we don't have to worry about the edge. Yeah. We're just there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm, I'm so man. fucking excited that I'm gonna jump out and I'm like I'm I'm running through okay. the door. Oh my god, you're just going to be a trap or something. I'm going to cast a tech magic. I think Blaze is sad. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I'm like sad, like emotionally sad, or like just like pathetic sad? Both. <laughs> cool. Well, I think you're dead in a waste of space, so. That's, I that's am pretty sad. dead. <laughs> I'm going to play Despacito on my flute. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to knock on the wizard's door. Okay. Despacito's coming, uh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> after a couple of minutes, after about 30 seconds, door opens up, it's and a, uh, where is it, uh, half woman woman, uh, oh, is in the doorway, and she looks confused as to, she, at, for a second she looks confused, and then she, 
it dawns on her that she got a raven about this a while back. And she says, are you here for uh, to have something done by the wizard? I got a raven of <laughs> a while shoulders. ago. Where is he? <laughs> Okay, okay. Please! Settle down, settle down, settle down, settle Stop. down. Please off, please off, please off, I'm please so off. close! I'm gonna pull Blaze off of her. I okay. can taste it! <laughs> Calm down. I can taste it if the Calm fuck... down, or you're gonna get chucked off the mountain, probably. <laughs> I need his help, please! Yeah, so the wizard is in a medically induced coma that he put in himself into. I'm just gonna pull and a flower and the... throw oh, I, I see I you got so the many. flowers. Okay. I have so many! Please. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> calm down, calm down. I have to make a certain kind of... Uh, solution or potion with these flowers before we can actually wake him up. So it'll take about an hour. You just have to wait, wait an hour. Okay. Stay calm. An hour and he'll be awake. <laughs> Throw some more. As much as you need. <laughs> All of it. Okay, okay. Thank you. And she picks up a, a couple of handfuls, which is how much she needs. And she lets you guys in and you're, uh, she kind of leads you to like a living room type space. With a few benches and chairs and stuff like that, where you can I, sit. I grab a small handful of the flowers as well from the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I let them. I don't care about them. Yeah. I, they may be useful in the future. She also brings you some tea just for a while you wait. And um, <laughs> <laughs> when she brings the tea, I'm like, I'm like check for tea. Uh, would you? Uh, what kind of tea is this? Chamomile. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tea I was thinking of too. Oh, yes. Uh, Some Earl Grey. Uh, <laughs> Earl Grey is my favorite. Earl uh, Grey, same. Good. I love Earl Grey. Yes. It. She tells you it's just uh, tea from some plants that are grown in ice. It's plant tea, you fuck. <laughs> I check for traps. <laughs> nice. Uh, I check for traps. I know Lazarus has some uh, plants that'd be really good for a tea. Can I get some ice in my tea? <laughs> Leave her alone! She has important business to do! She says, I'm kind of in the... Like, yeah, thank you. I'm, uh... You're wanting this real quick, I assume, so I'll get back to that if you want some ice. Take your time. He's been like this for a while. He can live another day. Can I borrow your teapot? (laughs) Just give it to her, please! (laughs) And, like, there's tea in the teapot, so... Uh, just a quick question for you. Yeah. Um, does the wizard know teleportation? Don't answer that! He does. <laughs> oh, thank God. So, what, theoretically, he'd be able to teleport all of us to Eul. Uh. <laughs> there's yeah. potential, but you, you're wanting wish cast, I think, right? That's what you said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that takes a lot of energy, and especially since this wizard is coming out of a coma, he's been in for two or oh. three for two and a half weeks now. Okay, so, so it, like it's it, either one or the other, right? <laughs> so if we if you uh, decide... one or the other, or the teleportation a long time, at, quite a while after the wish, or vice versa. <laughs> wish first, please. <laughs> now hold on. Let us think about this. Eol yeah. has already Thank been you very much. Eol has already been invaded. There's no saving it. Let it perish. That's what we thought about you, but... What? <laughs> Do you want me to fight you? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a fight. <laughs> oh, so much patience. So much patience is being put into this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast calm emotions on everybody. <laughs> okay, y'all being a bunch of fucking teenagers. <laughs> well, actually, I think Farron's the only one acting like a teenager. <laughs> You're right. You totally just proved me wrong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I attempt to suppress strong emotions in a group of people, each humanoid in a 20 foot radius sphere, centered on a point you choose. Must make a charisma save. Can choose to fail if they want to. If they fail. <laughs> I suppress any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened, or I can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice that it's hostile towards. So I can just make everybody chill out. I rolled a 10, what you see? It's like 17. It's pretty high. So what does it do? Is it calms you down. You don't freak out. You don't yeah. care. I'm going to choose to fail because I did not beat your roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So it's not like we're being 
we're not like being charmed. It just calms. Sorry. It just calms down. Yeah. Okay. It's actually it actually removes any charms. Oh, I see. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> so you you're still rolled a three. You're still a dick. No, I put it there. I rolled a nineteen, and I oh, have minus one. You meant to re-roll. I know. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> Are you telling me he saved? He has a negative he one saved, agree. Yeah. Are you fucking it's kidding me? It's 17 or 16. Or it was in. Uh, to save it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Sick. Yeah. I'm chill. Okay, so you're the only one who's I, I'm still, I'm just annoyed. Right. I'm just like really annoyed, annoyed. at Blaze. Right. It's just like, this is... Everybody else can just calm down. <sighs> I sit down. Cool. Do I know that he like casted that? I think so. Okay. I think it's fine. I think it's what we needed anyway. But I'm still annoyed. Okay, so she continues making the potion or brew, and then about an hour later, she says it's ready and she'll make up the wizard. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're waiting? Nope. I want to make a tea out of the Hollow House leak. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, you're gonna die, dude. Am I aware of the properties when I picked it up? Uh, roll another... Or, do you remember what he rolled for medicine there? I would have told him. You would have told him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I you would know that. Because yeah. I had healing herbs, the whole house leak, and then stuff on divination. Actually, I'll do the herbs on divination. Okay. Because cloning myself here might be weird. Yeah, uh, just roll a medicine check, I you guess, should, to have, actually brew a drink. You should have room and drink, and then there'd be three of them. <laughs> and even the three of you would be related. I got 16. 16? Uh, you feel like it's around the same, the right amount of time for brewing this tea, and you think it might have some kind of divina- divination attributes to it. Okay. I assume that I just did a good job, and I just want to taste how it is, so I put myself a cup and I down it. Okay, uh, so this tastes like, what does it taste like? Um, uh, it tastes like the feeling you get after seeing a new sunrise. Early in the morning, like the perfect sunrise. I don't know how that would actually yeah. taste, but that's the feeling you get from okay. it. Nice. I'm enjoying my drink. Very and it tastes like blueberries. I, I kind of like. I and take the teapot and I just step outside, and I'm okay. just enjoying myself. Okay, and just roll a an intelligence check, please. Lazarus is just tripping balls right now. <laughs> There's ten. Ten. Uh. You see a few different futures branch out in front of you. Just okay. l- you only see the next day or so, and the this almost makes me have to railroad you guys towards one of these. Well, actually, no. You see three, but you per- you kind of see a bunch of others in your peripheral visions, but you can't actually discern what they are. Okay, not railroading. <laughs> one of them. Is going to a, a mountain and there's a uh, there's a pit on the mountainside and it, everything around it is pitch black and burnt. And okay. as as you look down the hole, it just seems to go on for a long time. Then the second one is you see a black dragon flying in the distance. Then another is, um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, you see the city of Ait. And you just barely catch a glimpse of a fourth one, and it, it seems to be another city, one you're not familiar with. Okay. I'll just chill out outside. I... I didn't really gain anything from that divination. Uh, if I see anything that comes close to what I've uh, dreamt of, yeah. then you know I'll let everyone else know about what I've seen. But okay. for now, I'll keep it uh, keep it to myself. Okay. And then 
the halfling tells you guys to stay where you are while she wakes up the wizard, just because she doesn't want the wizard to be too um, astounded by everything that happens and too many people around. So she goes with the concoction to the room and pours the solution down the wizard's throat. And then after about a minute, you hear another sound of breathing. And then you hear movement in there. So from someone getting out of a bed. If it wasn't for common motions, I'd be literally freaking out. <laughs> and then about a minute after that, well, a little bit after that, you hear some soft chatting between her and the wizard. Then, you've, then the wizard slowly walks into the room. And you see that he's a very old wizard. He's an elf, I think. Do I say he's an elf? Yeah, he's a high elf. He's very old, white, wispy hair. Uh, eyes that seem to have seen a lot of the world. And uh, he's... Uh, due to his coma and a lot of the experiment experimentations he's ran, he's not act he's not strong in any way, uh, so really lithe and skinny and stuff like that. Then he says, "Which one of you re requested my magic?" That was me. I. I wrote you. I requested letter. it. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the halfling says it's him <laughs> so what is it exactly you need me to do I pull down my hood and I show him my entire form he I seems was, unfazed by this I was bitten by a runnerkin while saving innocent lives in the depths and now I take it on this form of an abyssal wretch and I would very much I'm sorry <laughs> I would very much appreciate it if you could turn me back into my tobacco form. Also teleport us to you. So, be Wish is a very powerful spell. And it seems like that's probably the only way I can get you back to your old self. Probably! You're the expert here! And after that, it's likely I won't have the power in me to transport you guys anywhere. Or to really do any magic at all. I might even fall back into a coma. We have plenty of flowers. <laughs> I'll fucking shoot six espressos down your throat if need be. <laughs> you can give this poor man a heart attack. How long do we have to wait before you can cast teleport? Uh, it'll probably be at least a, f a few days. Like, definitely one or two days. Maybe more. Especially since I just Came out of a coma. Why is he doing this for us? Are we paying him? Or? I don't know. He's just like some sort of ancient being yeah. who he just, just cast nice. He just, cast he just does nice thing. things, you know? It's because cool. I sent him that letter. Mm, what? Did I send him No, you didn't send a letter. No? No. Oh, I thought, well, then who was the uh, another, like, uh, One of the wizard's apprentices yeah. sent the letter. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah, that's right. I did send the letter. How did I forget? You wouldn't happen to know of any nearby entrances into the depths, would you? The depths. How many can you teleport with that? That's like that teleportation sign that we used to get in and out of the depths. Doesn't that is only up to that, that one section of the depths. Oh, yeah. If there's a way, if you really can't teleport us to you, perhaps we can do this wish and then find a nearest entrance into the depths and make our way there from there. I do know of one portal to the depths. It is to the somewhat northeast of Ait. Aren't we northeast right now? You're north. Oh. Uh, or actually, no, it would just be, it would be a little bit south and east of Ait. And it's in a mountain. Uh, it is, where's that mountain yet. Um, it'd probably be about a day's hike from Ait, and it's unmistakable when you see it. It's probably the second or third mountain in, and 
There's one point of the mountain when you get to it that is pitch black everywhere and looks burnt. And there's a pit that you can slide down into the depths. Do I get the impression that this is the same? Yep. Okay. Same what? The same uh, place that you felt towards yeah. when you were in the ancient oh, okay. historic site. Where I felt that we needed to go. Where I needed to go. Is teleport only like a 5th level spell? Yeah. Wish is a ninth level spell and is the most powerful spell in the world, so... Yeah, but I mean, long rest is usually less <laughs> less back, yeah. Blaze, don't metagame. You will not become your tabaxi form again. This guy just came out of a coma he was in for two and a half weeks, Clayton. Fuck you, Gage. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can dream. Okay, so realistically, though, if teleportation is <laughs> easier than wish, if he teleports us all, except Blaze, you know, he yeah, then we won't have takes plays. a long rest. Danny does wish on Blaze. Well, then, you know, Blaze can wait there three days, whatever. And then he'll teleport him back. Join us later. Split it up. Yeah, how would he know where to teleport him to? Zeal. We'll be there, probably. <laughs> probably not. Everybody's going to be gone by the time we get not there. if we get there. It's, no, they're, they're, I guarantee everybody's already gone. I, I need you to cast teleport. Wish, please. Okay. That's why we came here. I can do that. Uh, he'll tell he'll tell you to follow him into the room he was just in, and he tells his assistant to come as well, just to see everything that happens. But he'll advise the rest of you guys to stay put. I'm still excited. Yep. I follow. So then he tells you to sit on the on the bed, just because it could be a major difference for you okay and he starts chanting and chanting and he casts wish and i just need to double check some stuff for wish because there are a few things for it so they went into the room and shut the door behind them yeah damn can i can i peek through the keyhole sure cool okay yeah so he cast the spell and even though you're in the other room, all of you feel this tremendous, powerful magic happening real close to you. The most powerful magic you've ever actually felt. And once the chanting is done, you feel yourself start to change. You feel your hand claw turn back to a hand. Damn, what am I going to say? You're... A lot of bones in your body start to crack and like contort and stuff and... You grow in size, back to your normal size, and you become a tabaxi with black fur and golden tinges on it as well. Golden yeah. And then the wizard collapses into a chair that his apprentice had put behind him. And you see the apprentice writing down a ton of stuff. And that is where we leave off on this episode of A Deal with Demons. Oh, okay.